Today we're going to be talking all about the single best one-time purchase for your chronic health recovery journey. So this is like, this is one thing, you buy it, you have it forever. You, you buy it once, so it's like a one-time investment. You have it, you have it for the rest of your healing journey. This is why I really wanted to make this video is with the, the mindset that I have is if you if you can get something and you have it forever and it's going to have this very profound compounding effect on your healing process, you should get it as soon as possible so you can start getting the benefits. And the benefits that you are going to get from this, they, they just grow over time because you bought it, it costed however much it cost, which is actually very cheap. It's very effective, like price wise, you know, for what you get versus what it costs. This is the, the single best thing I found in my whole, throughout my whole healing process. And I'm really excited to share this with you today. So I actually have a bit of a presentation for you. So best one-time purchase for healing. And this works for any chronic health problem. This is going to work, especially if you have some kind of inflammatory component to your, to your health problem. And the, it's working is basically working through this anti-inflammatory mechanism. There's other things we're going to talk about. It. We'll talk about all the benefits in a bit. So here's my presentation. So this is you. This is you. You're not dead. Okay. This is not, you're not actually dead. This is you laying here and you don't feel very well. So these little, these little red stars, this, this is inflammation. So you have lots of inflammation you're laying here and this is you trying to go to sleep. You're not laying on the floor. You're laying in a bed. And you probably have your cell phone, your mobile phone sitting here, charging right next to your head. And it's broadcasting frequencies at your face. And that's brilliant. And you also got your Wi-Fi on in the other corner of the room. This is blasting you. And maybe you have perfect sleep hygiene and you don't have any electromagnetic devices where you're sleeping. Your neighbors probably do. There's probably a, a Wi-Fi room on the other side of the wall. So that's fantastic. Not much you can do about that. Maybe there's a smart meter downstairs. I don't know. Maybe you live in the middle of the country and none of this is a problem for you. You still have inflammation in your body. You know, even the normal biomechanical processes produce the inflammation in your body. So this is you. This is you trying to sleep. And in, you're not able to sleep. You can't fall asleep. You're just laying there thinking, why do I have so much chronic inflammation? And this is a massive contributor to basically any type of chronic health problem. So this is, this is what you're missing. So... When you're, when you're laying here, when you're sleeping, you're actually supposed to be connected to the earth. You're actually supposed to be grounded. And unless you already know what grounding and earthing are, you're probably not. And even if you do know what grounding and earthing are, you're probably only doing this during the day. So maybe you go for barefoot walks, or maybe you put your feet in the sand, or you go and walk around a lake with your feet in the water or on the beach or something. That's awesome. Keep doing that. But most of the benefits that you get from earthing and grounding, you actually get while you're sleeping and they're way more profound. So what is supposed to happen is your inflammation in your body is supposed to be coming out and you're supposed to be receiving electrons from the earth for free. So if you already know the benefits of grounding, we're going to just take all of those benefits and apply them while you're sleeping and, and, and it's compounding and there's more. If you don't know about the benefits of grounding, in essence, when you're connected to the earth, you're getting free electrons coming into your body all of the time. And if you don't know what that means, put, putting it simply, you've probably heard that antioxidants are good for you. The reason that antioxidant is good is because it, as a molecule, has a little electron. So if you, you've probably, you, maybe you didn't do very good in science, maybe you did great. Either way, this is like super easy to understand. You've got this little molecule, this is like your, this is your antioxidant, and it's got these little electrons that are like whizzing around it really fast. Those electrons, those are basically antioxidants. So when you take an antioxidant substance, what makes it an antioxidant is the fact that it has an electron that's spare that it can give to your body. That is what makes an antioxidant an antioxidant. That's like the defining characteristic of an antioxidant. But what I'm telling you here is you can literally plug yourself into the earth and you can receive these electrons for free all of the time, simply just by being connected to the earth. So these glutathione supplements, these vitamin C supplements, the juicing, like everything you're doing to try and get extra antioxidants in your body is awesome. I'm not saying stop that, but if you're doing all of that and you're not doing this, that doesn't make any sense because this is, as I said, you buy this once you've got it. It's such low effort. You know, you don't have to be juicing. You don't have to be going to the, to the shop to buy your supplements. You don't have to be spending loads of money ordering it online. Once you have this, you have it. Every time you go to sleep, you plug into the earth and you get free electrons the whole time you're asleep. So this is you afterwards. All of these little, these little green 
these little green stars. These are antioxidants coming into your body just while you're asleep. So all of your inflammation is basically coming out of your body. It's basically like it's draining through this cable into the earth. And the earth is taking all of this stress, all of this inflammation, all of this strain out of your body. And it's flooding your body with antioxidants and calming frequencies and just the stuff your body needs to like heal, like the, the things it actually needs to fix itself. So instead of laying there and just accumulating all of these toxic, these all of this toxicity, all of this information just from like doing your workout or just having a stressful job, just being alive. And if you even if you don't have a chronic health problem, you still produce reactive oxygen species in your body. That's that is actually the mechanism that you use to turn the food that you eat into energy. It produces these reactive oxygen species, these these like molecules that damage your body that cause inflammation. So even if you don't have any health problems, you should still do this. And especially so if you are into like performance, if you want to get, you want to improve your recovery when you're working out, you want to be able to work out more or you just want quicker recovery. Or if you have, so like me, chronic fatigue syndrome, I had that and I would always have like really bad post-exercise recovery. I would have achy muscles, achy joints. I could like go up the stairs once and it felt like I climbed Mount Everest. And that's because the reactive oxygen species, the, the pro-oxidants build up inside your body and your body can't get rid of them. All you have to do is pluck yourself into the earth and they'll all drain out. Your body will saturate your body with antioxidants and you won't have that problem anymore. So now we're going to look at the benefits. So obviously the first benefit we've got here, reduced inflammation, that is an obvious one. If you have more antioxidants in your body, you're going to have less oxidative damage, which means less inflammation. Second benefit is to your circadian rhythm. And this is this is why it's so cool to do it while you're asleep. First of all, if you're doing it while you're asleep, you're grounded for like eight hours. You know, if you go for a little walk in the park or you go for a little walk on the beach, maybe that's like, like at the most, maybe that's like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Like, I think it's very unlikely anybody watching this video is grounded for more than an hour, hour and a half in a day. Like if you're doing that, like you're going out and you're intentionally barefoot in public or in the grass or something for more than an hour and a half i don't know how you have so much time i just i just don't i feel like we live in quite a busy world i don't know how you're able to do that if you do this while you're asleep you're, you're literally doing it while you're asleep you know people always talk about wanting to make money in their sleep or to do stuff like you can heal in your sleep you can get free antioxidants in your sleep so you get a whole eight hours or if you sleep 10 hours like me you get a whole 10 hours amazing awesome so you're getting a, a prolonged period of earthing, which is really cool. And you're doing it while you sleep. So it's really zero effort as well. But it's also going to improve your circadian rhythm in three primary ways. So first of all, you're going to get better sleep. When you're connected to the earth, the earth is telling your body whether it's daytime or whether it's nighttime. So just as your body is influenced by whether it's light outside or whether it's dark outside, and that helps it know whether it should be awake and producing hormones that make you wake up or if it's dark and it's saying okay we should probably get ready to go to sleep your body can feel that from the earth as well so the light going into your eyes is just one biofeedback mechanism you can also use the frequencies that come from the earth which you can do using grounding equipment while you're asleep secondly it helps to normalize cortisol so when you want to sleep your cortisol levels should be coming down and your melatonin levels should start to peak start to raise up and then that's what makes you feel sleepy and what makes you fall asleep so the, the relationship between cortisol and melatonin are directly inverse. So as cortisol comes down, melatonin goes up. If your melatonin comes down, your cortisol goes up. If your cortisol comes up, your melatonin comes down. They're directly inverse. So if you have anything that is causing imbalances in your melatonin cycle or anything that's causing imbalances in your cortisol cycle so this could look like if you have insomnia if you have sleep problems if you just if you just can't sleep or if you frequently wake up in the night if you have stress hormone problems so if you have things like adrenal fatigue chronic fatigue anything where you're not able to produce enough energy to get through the day or anything where you're having like blood sugar instabilities this is going to help with this because this is going to help to normalize this rhythm of cortisol spiking up when you wake up and then coming down through the day and then melatonin plummeting as you wake up and then raising up just before you go to sleep so you actually have restful sleep and finally it's going to normalize all of your other hormones as well so the the circadian rhythm is the master rhythm of your whole body it regulates every single function in your whole body digestion detoxification sleep and wakefulness energy productivity creativity everything everything is governed by your circadian rhythm 
So it's going to improve everything. And one that I wanted to touch on here that I think is very interesting, so I'm just using this as one example of a list of like 500 different things, would be vitamin D. So vitamin D, as, as you probably know, is very tied into your, into your circadian rhythm because your body is supposed to synthesize it when it's exposed to sunlight. So this is a hormone that you... So vitamin D is actually not a vitamin, it's a hormone. It's something that your body is going to secrete, it's going to make and produce when it's being exposed to the sun. So if you're vitamin D, if, if you're one of these people that supplements a lot of vitamin D and you can never get the vitamin D levels to increase, it might not actually be a vitamin D problem. It might be another problem in your hormone balance somewhere else. And this can help with that as well. So if you do have a vitamin D problem, this is something worth trying. This is something worth trying for everybody. You, there's literally no negatives. So the, you, you really have to do it. But okay, we'll keep going through the benefits. Three, free antioxidants. So once you have this, you have it forever. You know, you literally just tap into this reservoir of free antioxidants to the earth. We'll just give you at no cost every single night. It's literally like you buy it once. And like for the amount of money that you spend on buying it versus the amount of return that you get on how many antioxidants you get, it is closer to costing you absolutely nothing than even like one cent. You know, it is literally free if you look at it in, in the long run of, what you're actually getting here. It's literally like closer to free than it costing even like one cent a day. Like it is, is literally free. Four, it gives you EMF protection. So one of the most harmful things about electromagnetic frequencies is that they get, they get stored in our body. So we are basically, we can basically be like a reservoir of frequencies. We're mostly water. And especially if you have like heavy metal toxicity or a high parasite load, you can be really sensitive to electromagnetic frequencies. So one thing I really wanted to touch on here, and is it in the next one? Improve current, no. So there's another one about gut health. I'll, I'll talk about that then. But it basically, in essence, instead of these electromagnetic frequencies accumulating inside your body, they just get discharged down that cable and they, they get grounded and they get neutralized. So yes, you will still get exposed. And there's sometimes there's nothing you can do about that. You know, I live in a five-story apartment building. Even if I turn my Wi-Fi off, nobody else does. I'm still being exposed but I'm basically protected now. Like it, it, it's, it's significantly less harmful. I wouldn't say it isn't harmful, but it's like you reduce the damage by 95%, you know? So you still have to try and do those other things, you know? Put your phone on airplane mode, turn your Wi-Fi off if you can, but you can't control everything, but this gives you a really good barrier of protection. Next, we've got improved recovery. So this is, this is kind of tied to everything that we've mentioned above. So having better protection from EMFs, having increased antioxidants inside your body, having a better circadian rhythm and lower inflammation is just going to result in improved recovery in all regards. So if you want increased athletic performance, if you want increased muscle growth, if you want, if say you have a, a, a wound or an injury, if you've got joint pain, if you have inflammation, like this is just going to speed every single thing up because sometimes you are in a deficit of antioxidants. Your body, it, it gets stuck in an inflammatory process because it gets stuck in this reactive oxygen cascade. This is So what makes a reactive oxygen species molecule so harmful is, say you have, so you have a reactive oxygen species. So the, a, a reactive oxygen species is kind of like the opposite of an antioxidant. So it's like, you think about how antioxidants are good and healthy and like promote health. A reactive oxygen species is like the complete opposite of that. It's, it's literally the antithesis of, of an antioxidant. So why these things are so bad is you have this, this, this substance inside your body that wants to steal electrons. So it goes up to one of your cells and it's like, I want this electron. It just rips it off and it steals it. And now that cell becomes aberrant and it becomes a free radical itself. So now that cell wants to go up to something else and steal an electron off of that. And you get stuck in this cycle where one of your cells steals an electron from another cell. And now that cell becomes a reactive oxygen species. So it goes and damages another cell. And you get this like, domino effect of just destruction but if you can just provide that that whatever it is needs an elect an, an extra electron if you can just give it the electron that whole cascade doesn't happen and that whole cascade is what causes tissue damage is what causes joints to to become damaged you know it's what causes this whole process it's not that single molecule it's the cascade that that molecule causes so if you can just get ahead of that and stop that cascade from happening you reduce the amount of work that your body has to do to an unfathomable degree, it's, it is amazing. So you're basically stopping that reactive oxygen cascade before it happens, which is gonna result in improved recovery from 
a chronic health problem, but also acute injuries, and even just from like a sports performance perspective. So amazing. Six, gut health. This is the one I'm most excited to talk about. So if you take uh, like a health food, like a, like sauerkraut, so it's like a live, a live fermented food, and you, so it's exactly the same culture, it's exactly the same cabbage, exactly the same salinity inside the fermentation. Everything is exactly the same, apart from one is in the earth, and the other one isn't, and it's not connected to the earth. And these are being exposed to EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies. So things like Wi-Fi, cell phones, that sort of stuff. The organisms that grow and the level of different compounds and chemicals inside these mixtures is completely different. The, the Wi-Fi and the electromagnetic frequencies, they really piss off these microbes. They really make them angry. They produce a lot more like frustrated substances, toxins, things like that. Yeast is far more likely to grow. So it's more likely that the ferment is going to go bad because it can develop like calm yeast on the top or it can go moldy or something like that because they thrive better in that non-grounded environment. So if you think, if this happens inside a, like a test where we're doing this in, in two different types of fermented foods in like a, in, in same thing, but in a different environment, what do you think is happening inside your body? What do you think is happening inside your gut? Because your gut is basically just this big barrel of fermenting microbes. So if you have a gut dysbiosis, these EMFs are affecting it. There is no way around it. They are affecting it. But the best way you can protect yourself is to be grounded. You can't, you cannot protect yourself by avoidance. You just can't. It is not possible. Short of like going and living in a cave or like shielding your whole house with like a Faraday cage. I mean, and it's just not realistic. I hope it, 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 no, no one has time for that. It's not, it's not a healthy way to live. This is such an easy option. It's so easy to do. Very cost effective, borderline free once you get like two or three years into it. And it works. It works more effectively. If you're in a cage, in a Faraday cage, you're getting no EMFs, but you're still not grounded. You're still producing reactive oxygen species in your body. It's, it's absolutely, it's, it's so good. Okay. Seven, one-time purchase. You buy it once, you have it forever. You don't, you don't need to buy it again. That's it. You have it forever. I have one, I have mine. I bought mine probably, it's got to be four years ago now. Still have it. Still works. It's perfect. I think it will probably work for it. I mean, it might wear out eventually, but I'm looking at like 10 to 20 years plus. And finally, A, superpowers. It doesn't actually give you superpowers. Unfortunately, that's the wrong presentation. It doesn't give you superpowers, but it does give you all of the other stuff. So I think that's more than good enough. So no superpowers with this, but you do get reduced inflammation, improved circadian rhythm. So that's better sleep, normalized cortisol, and normalize all your other hormones as well, including vitamin D. This is getting free antioxidants. It's giving you EMF protection, improved recovery. So from chronic health problems, acute health problems, and even just like sports recovery from like working out at the gym and stuff like that. Improved gut health, and it's a one-time purchase. So I think all of those, no superpowers, it's still worth doing. So I've left you a link to, to take a look. You should be able to find it just below the video. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna basically, in essence, click this link and I'm gonna take you to the website and I'm gonna go through these products with you as well. I'm gonna review these products. You just wanna click over here to products and it's gonna show you all of the different products that are available from this website. So you don't have to use this website, but there are some, there are some companies that are not reputable that I wouldn't that I wouldn't use. I know this is a good one, so you can use this one. The link that I've included is an affiliate link. If you want to, I think I'm going to make like maybe one euro from your purchase. If if that if that's a problem for you, I know some people get funny with affiliate links. Don't use my link. Just type the URL up here. So there's this link up here. Just type it up here. If that's not a problem for you, click the link. It's fine. I, I hardly make any money from it. I'm just including it because these are the people that I've used. I trust their products. They're good. So if you want to use it, use it. If you don't, don't. No problem to me. So let me review these products for you. So first of all, here we have the grounding sheet. So this is a, this is, as it says, it's a sheet. This is a product that just goes on top of your bed as, as a normal bed sheet would. They do have a few different types of options. So there's like one that you can see here in this, in this picture, you can actually see it quite well it's only covering a portion of the bed. So this is just for your feet to touch. You can get other feet, uh, you can get other sheets that cover the whole thing, you know, fitted sheets. So they, they literally like the whole bed sheet. And the way these work is they have a small filament, a small silver filament that is conductive all the way through it. And you can see here in this little image, it, you just plug it into the wall. It just plugs into to a normal socket, you know? You don't have to send your cable out the window. You don't have to plug it straight into the floor. You just 
plug it into the wall. It's, it's, it's as easy as that. So this is a really good option if you, you don't even want to have to worry about it. You know, you get into bed, it's done. The, the, so I would say this is, the, the benefits of this are, it's zero effort. You don't even have to think about it. The drawbacks are, it's a bit more expensive. I would say this is considerably more expensive than the option that I'm going to recommend you. But some people prefer this. It is, it is inconvenient in the fact that it is very large. You cannot travel with this and you have to clean it. If you're going to use it like this, you, you have to wash it. And washing it is going to make it break, it is going to make it degrade faster than if it's something you don't have to wash so frequently. So you do have to bear those things in mind that will reduce how long this is going to last for you. You've got these these sheets here. So this is this this one is really cool. So this these sheets are kind of the same thing here, but it's like for a pillowcase instead. So that might work really well for you. That's not a good one for me because I like I flip my pillow all the time while I'm sleeping. So that's not a good option for me. But if you would rather use your pillow instead, that would that that may be a good option. This one here is the recovery bag. So this is like it's like a cocoon. You can see it. It's like it's like a it's like a sleeping bag that you would use camping. So it's basically just like the sheet, but it covers all of you. This is, I would say this is the best option if you're looking for EMF protection. So if you're being exposed to EMFs, they're going to be coming into your body and then they're going to be discharged through the cable if you're using a sheet. But if you're using this, they're not even going to come into your body in the first place. You're, you're in essence creating a cage around yourself that the frequencies can then just be immediately discharged through the cable. They don't go into your body at all. Grounding mats, I mean, so this one as well, the downside to this one it is going to be more expensive as well. Grounding mats, these ones can be cool. I, I don't, these are not what I'm looking for for this purpose. These can be cool to use while you're working. You know, if you're sitting at a desk or if you, if you want to do yoga on a grounding mat or you want to just work at a standing desk and you want to stand on them, you can do that. You can use them while you're sitting. But personally, I prefer to use the, well, I'm going to show you what I use in, in just a second. So this is what I like to use, the grounding bands and patches. So the reason I like these myself is, first of all, they are, they're stupid cheap. They're really, they're really cost effective. I think you can buy this band with the cable for approximately like 10 to 15 dollars, 10 to 15 euros, 10 to 15 pounds. It is really cheap. These things basically last forever. So I have both of these. I have this one, which is a wrist strap. So you can put it around your wrist or you can put it around your ankle. And I have this one down here, which is a thigh strap. So you just uh, wrap this one around your, around your thigh. I don't like the thigh strap. I think it's quite uncomfortable. It's a bit big and it's kind of annoying. I really like this one up here, this, 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 this uh, wrist strap. And I just put it around my ankle. And the cable that comes with it has a, is, is very stretchy. It's like, a, like uh, I was going to say it's like the old telephones, but I guess there's some people probably don't know what they look like. It's like coiled up, like a coiled up wire and you pull it and it's like stringy. So you can, I, 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 I fidget a lot in my sleep. I'm rolling around all the time. I never have problems with this. The, in a worst case scenario, all that's going to happen is you can see there's this little sort of like button here. Just get rid of that. There's this little like button here and you just plug the cable into there. And the, wor the worst thing that's going to happen is it just comes unattached. You know, so if you like forget that it, you're wearing it and you get out of bed, it's not like you're going to rip your leg off. You know, it, it just comes unbuttoned and it just it's like click. It's like a it's like a button that you do your coat up with. You know, it's nothing. It's strong enough that you can roll around in your bed, but it's not so strong that you're going to trip over if you like get out of bed with that. I would only say that I would say so I would say the, the benefits of this are extremely cheap, extremely durable. You can travel with it. I travel with this all the time. Every time I go to England, uh, travel to Germany, I'm going to take this when I travel to Europe soon, somewhere else in Europe. I took it to India. It's super travelable. You know, you can bring this with you wherever you want to go. You will basically have no problems with with traveling it. It's small, it packs really well. You just have to make sure that you have the right adapter for the country that you're going to. But you can you can buy those. On, on the site as well so I'm going to say that as well before you purchase make sure you've bought the right adapter so I'm pretty sure that with the purchase you get the option to choose which country you're buying it from and this is a UK based country but they ship everywhere I've bought I've bought in Europe before they they ship everywhere I've had I've also had clients that have bought from this company in America as well very fast shipping times very good don't not buy it from this one just because you're not in the UK they ship everywhere very well and they're very repeatable so this is the one that I would suggest. It's very cheap. It is very durable. It travels well. As I said, because of these things, because it is 
cheap, durable, and it travels well, you probably only need one and that's it. You never have to buy it again. You have it. It's going to last you at least 10 plus years. And for the cost, so I'm just going to click through here so I can just see exactly how much it is right now. Okay, it's 30 pounds. Okay, it's more, it's more expensive than when I bought it. So it's gone up a little bit. So it's 30 pounds. So it's more expensive, but I still think it's a bargain. You know, you should have it for the rest of your life. You never have to buy it again. So this shows you everything that's in the kit. You get the adapter, which is this thing here. It plugs just straight into the wall. It's got two little plastic things that go into the power one. It doesn't plug into the electricity at all. It only plugs into the grounding one. So that's like the, the, the earthing the earthing port. And then you can see, you can just about see it in the top here, there's two little holes. So you just plug the, the cable in and you can, you can see it now, this like coiled up stretchy, stretchy cable. You just plug this in there, you clip this bit to it and you just stick it on your wrist or your ankle. I personally, as I said, I prefer ankle. I think ankle is better. With my hands, I, as I said, I'm flipping my pillow around and I'm doing stuff, you know, I'm doing gymnastics in bed, you know, I'm flipping it around a lot. I prefer putting it on my ankle. You see here, there's a picture of someone putting it on their foot. I would say the downsides to this are if you do move a lot and this is something that you think is going to annoy you, then that's going to annoy you. So probably go with something else. And also if you have mobility problems, like for example, I've had clients that have MS or they have um, inability to move their legs or have low mobility or they're getting up frequently in the night. It can be kind of annoying in that case. So you might want to consider the sheet or the or the mat instead. They may be better options. And I'll, I'm actually just going to check just so you can see, just in case you're interested. What is the price of this? So it's 130, 130 pounds. So I think that's about $150 or so. So yeah, as I'm saying, this one is obviously more expensive, but what do you expect? You know, with the other one, you're just getting a little wrist strap. This one is a whole bed sheet and it actually has silver filament in it as well. So silver obviously is going to cost more money. But yeah, and you see it's fitted so you can get it to fit your bed. So you can go here and you can choose whatever you want. And there's other stuff, you know, there are other companies, there are other places you can go. You can maybe look on Amazon. Just make sure that you research the company you're buying from because sometimes these things don't work. And also one final note just before I finish is, is this, accessories and extras. So if you're not sure if your if your plug sockets are actually connected to the earth, in some dodgy constructions, they don't actually do this. You may want to consider buying a socket tester. So these are things that you just plug into the wall and they just make sure that it does actually connect to the earth. So as you can see, there's different ones. There's, Denmark and, and they do it for everywhere. They go India, South Africa, they've got all the different adapters. If you come in, you can just check to make sure that the, the, the socket that you're actually plugging into does actually connect to the earth. Because obviously if it isn't connected to the earth, it isn't going to do anything. It's not going to help. It's not going to help you at all. So it may be worth doing. If you know that it works, then don't worry about it. I personally just trust them. I think most, as long as you're staying somewhere where the construction is, is decent, you'll, you'll be fine. In India, maybe you want to want to test it depending on where you're staying because they, they have less they have less strict um regulations over there so you may want to test it if you're doing it there but if you're like in the uk if you're in europe you're probably going to be fine in the us probably going to be fine so that's it that is everything for today so uh let me know if this is something you're going to buy let me know if this is something you have already let me know if you knew about the benefits of grounding but you didn't know that you could apply them in this way to get these benefits while you're asleep so if you do, if you do go ahead with this, make sure you let me know because I make these videos because I actually want to have a positive impact in your life. So I really like it when you reach out and let me know that that is what I've done. So if you do this, if you do go ahead with this, let me know and let me know how you feel. This is something that I use every single night and I don't need it, but I mean, you personally I think you'd be stupid not to use it because it's just free antioxidants the whole time you're asleep. Circadian balance, all those benefits. So if you have any questions about this, please reach out and let me know. If you don't want to use my affiliate link, then don't. I don't have a problem with that. If you do, I really appreciate it. But again, it's only a small amount of money anyway, so I'm not really that fast. So basically the reason that I'm giving you the affiliate link is it's the easiest link for me to give you. So if you just click through for that, awesome. I really appreciate it. That little bit of money does help. But if you have a problem with that, then don't use it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.